Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am pissed off. We have literally... I logged in today. And I did a video yesterday. I had it set up to go out today. That a couple of my storage boxes went missing. After the latest update. So I logged in today. And as you can see, in our prime base fucking location. There is absolutely fucking nothing left of the entire Star Fortress build. There's nothing left. All we have left are two NPCs and some mounts everything else is fucking dead and disappeared lost to the world after the latest fucking update i i don't even i don't even know what to fucking say to be honest so at first i got really pissed off like at first i got really really angry and i was like i'm fuck this game i'm not gonna play it anymore i'm done but i'm gonna do exactly what any self-respecting survival early access player does and i'm gonna rebuild i turn all the sliders up to maximum i deploy the last remaining two npcs jump on my fastest mount and head off for the first location i head into the first slayer x ray to go and pick up our portal I picked up the first piece. I then lost the blacksmith and the fucking guy on some spikes. They got stuck on where they got stabbed a million times. I mean, that's enough to make you quit, but I'm going to be carrying on. Picked up the second ball piece. Picked up the mysterious stone tablet and its friend. Killed the Slayer X for shits and giggles. With the portal pieces gone and the mysterious stone tablet, I headed straight the fuck out of there. I teleported over to my mini portal base, which for some reason is still standing. Placed down the mysterious stone tablet. Added the upgrade part and hope to fuck the blacksmiths are still in there. He is. We'll save him for later. Started grinding up a crap load of stone. We're going to need this for our tower build. Killed an eagle. I decided it was taking too long to actually gather the stone here. So I teleported over to our little desert base over here. There was also still here and so I started to break everything down. It would quicken up our time. I had a load of logs in this base from last time. So I picked everything up. I decided I'd carry on breaking down the entire base. Took it all back to the closest portal to take back to the snow. Go back to the portal and realized the fucking thing vanished again. Again. I fuck again. I calmed down and placed some more boxes down. Hopefully these ones will fucking stay. Put some labels on the boxes. Put some meat inside the snow leopard. Close the door. I headed off to the jungle to grab all the wood and stone we're going to need. Started by crafting up some thick rope. Started crafting the basics. Crafted up some planks. Crafted up two building workshops and two earth kilns. Picked up everything from inside the little portal base and headed off to our new base location. I was looking around from here and I saw a little flat plateau up there that I like the look of. Figured out you can't build it because of an elite slow leopard spawn. And then I spotted this little beauty paste down here that I'm going to actually build down this way, I think. I'm going to go down there. Unless I can't build it because of that fucking elite mammoth. How far can we build close? We can build right up on here. And I did what I did best. I place it completely off center. Ah, fuck it. That'll do. I ran out of stone foundations, so I had to place down some crafting stations to start making some wood ones. Started crafting some planks and went AFK. Started crafting wooden foundations to finish off the foundation. We'll replace them with stone later on. And built a little cover for the bonfire. We put our door and the fence pieces in. Started renaming some boxes. Dropped down our portal. I went to grab some easy NPCs. I took off my attack parts to make sure I didn't one shot everything. I grabbed the three crafters that I could find right at the front. And then I went and picked up a barbarian captive. And then another crafter came to me. It's a bloody red tier heart captor. Skilled porter. Novice laborer, skilled craftsman, and another skilled laborer. I got them all to follow me home. They had no idea what they were in for. We gave them all very original name and set them to craft in their bricks. They wouldn't last very long out here, but it seems to be going okay for the moment until we can get a roof on the place. At this moment, I don't really care. Just make me bricks. Started to place the remaining roof pieces. Placed down a tanning rack. Went through the portal to go and grab some water. Started crafting some tanning fluid. Made the building part one and started crafting our building pieces. Started filling in the remaining pieces of the wall. I actually think that's looking pretty good so far. It'd probably be better off in the night in the daytime when I check that out, but the start of my idea is coming to fruition. I even decided to make these and put filling doors in there. 
to have made it like bigger windows. Didn't make it any bloody warmer inside though. While our guys grinded out, I carried on making as much as possible and building as quickly as possible. Now we have the basic blueprint laid out for our base. I decided to craft up some of the crafting stations that we're going to need. We killed all the mammals we could find, scavenged up their corpses, grinded up all the meteorite ore we could. We grabbed all the iron ore we could, grabbed all the coal ore we could. We farmed poison, we farmed more poison, more iron, farmed green crystals, farmed more dungeons. We farmed bosses and retook their heads. Took all the loot. Yes, even this one. We took his head and his head. Filled with radiation and environmental damage and poison damage. We didn't care. Just wanted to get this shit done. And after all that crafting and all that building and all that gathering. Right, so that's a one whole ass day gathering resources, killing bosses, going in dungeons, looting stuff up, going inside and building this small tower. Now, I would have gone bigger, I would have gone better, but I didn't have enough time. I needed to get the crafting stations down. This build will get bigger, it will get better before we complete the Soul Mask series. I do have some ideas for this one. We only have the boxes and heaters and that all set down. Now, we did have... All of our NPCs, like, we had a lot of them. I had about 25 running on all different things, running on stacks and everything, and I portaled out, and they all died. It turns out that they, uh, I don't know, I don't know, just keep getting cold, I guess. The only person that survived was the only person that wasn't working, because we finished building the stone pieces. I do need to fill in the floor pieces over here, though. Um, there was, a. Uh, I just literally realized that. I didn't even, I might leave it like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the only person who was standing next to the bonfire basically was the one who survived. Even when we, were, we got two of these guys on a G3, we got another one upstairs. So it's just another fucking bug that just like slowed me right down. We have got our crafting stations up on this floor. We got our other crafting stations, like the uncrafting stations and stuff like that, up on this floor. I need to add some more floors. Here's our power room at the top where we have our windmills in all three directions. With our four powered things going over here. We have got everything built we need to get built. I just need to make it look prettier, make it look better. I do need to make a section to get upstairs to put the portal up there and our five statues for each of the bosses. That will be eventually turned into gold statues. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the full build, but at least we got everything set down. We got all the crafting stations built up. We got a, a base to live out of. At least for now. I might move somewhere else. Um, like, I do apologize for sticking all the, uh, like, rates up to maximum. Because, like, I couldn't have done this in a day and got back to making content without it. Like, it would have been a massive impossibility. And I, I just I just had to do it. I got so fucking annoyed. And that's it for this video. We're back in working shape. Hopefully, over the next couple of days, I'll be able to get in a, a more aesthetic build going on something I, I really did love the star fortress and i'm so pissed that it's gone and there's no blueprint system in this game but it is what it is i'm gonna carry on and we're gonna crack on and do what we're gonna do we're almost there we're almost at the end of soul mask running through killing the last bosses i want to thank you all for watching fly safe and avoid local chat scams <laughs> I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy.